Hello everybody, how are you? My name's Eva, I'm the director of the Scottish Yarn Festival and general organiser and founder of all things Scottish Yarn Festival. I'm coming on to do a live um, for two, two things today. So first of all, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to all of you for your overwhelmingly positive and loving response to our programme launch on Saturday. We've been inundated with really supportive and enthusiastic messages and emails and comments um, about the programme that we pulled together for the 7th and 8th, technically, <laughs> of September this year. So if you haven't gone to see it yet, it's over on our website. Now we have a book signing with Patty Lyons. We're, uh, we've got a collaboration going with Tiny Changes. We've got the first ever menopause um, cafe pop-up at a yarn festival ever. <laughs> we have um, the Rare Breed, Rare Breed Survival Trust Scotland are bringing their wall of wool. Um, we have someone offering hand massages. Um, we've got an exhibition with Janelle as well as other vendors and exhibitors. That's all happening on the 7th of September at Errol Showground and then on the 8th of September at a location in Perth. We have a couple of presentations. We've got Turning the Tide, the story of the Uist Wool, and we have a talk with Iveta Kalina, who is a Baltic Knits, about traditional Latvian mittens. So thank you. I'm as nervous and excited as I am every year, um, maybe more so because of how we lost our venue. Um, around about Christmas time and frantically set about saving the festival um, and to be able to do that and to turn it around and be delivering this programme and then just shout outpouring of love for us. There's no other way to put it. Um, it has been an outpouring of love. It means so, so much. So thank you. So I wanted to say that first. The second reason for coming on is that I have had a very exciting delivery today. So now that the cat is quite literally out of the bag <laughs> regarding Patty Lyons. So I think people knew that Patty Lyons was coming anyway because she's bringing a tour group, but we have secured her for a book signing. As part of that, I have had to get in touch with her publishers to secure X amount of copies of her book so that we can have that signed. And um, when we were setting up my trade account and negotiating contracts and, and things like that to do this, um, they sent me the catalogue <laughs> of what else that they have in terms of knitting and crochet. And I decided just to go all out and get a couple, not get a couple, I've got a couple of titles, one of which I'm going to disclose and share with you today. I've got 10 copies of each. Now, one of these books I shouldn't even have access to yet. And I think someone else who's going to be at Yarning and will maybe want to announce that they've got the book there first. Um, but we are the only two and we have a way, 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 way ahead of anyone else in the UK. In fact, anyone else globally, which is really cool. So I'll go on and I'll do a live about that one um, once I've let the other person have a chance to, to have their moment of glory and to shine and to, to what's lyrical about their work. But I want to show you this because I saw the front cover and I couldn't resist. And when I see the front cover of something and it stops me in my tracks, I know I'm on to a winner. I know that you're going to love it too. Woo! Hello. Yes. Hello. It's exciting. It was stressful. Um, so I have 10 copies of this. I'm taking them all to Yarningham. If they do not sell at Yarningham, they'll be going to the Scottish Yarn Festival. I may even do a wee top up order. Now, I'm pretty sure that my camera's going to reverse this, which doesn't matter so much for the text. We're here for the pretty pictures, aren't we? So I have 10 copies of this, which has just come out. So this is a Magical Knits from the North. It's by Katinka Sarjanoja, I think, and Mini Mart. I believe it's translated from the Finnish. Um, now this book comes in at 16.99 and it says to knit 19 fantastical patterns that bring Nordic lore and legend to life. This collection of knitting patterns explores spiritual themes and folklore motifs to take your knitting to a deeper level. Choose from a range of patterns for accessories and garments and discover the symbolism behind each of the designs. 
as well as the patterns and stranded colour work charts. There are thought provoking poems and spells which bring the designs to life. The author encourages you to reflect on the poems and embrace the magical themes while enjoying the meditative process of knitting itself. I'm just, I don't know about you, but my inner Amy Palco <laughs> is going nuts for this. I just think it's such a beautiful kind of concept, beautiful book. I just saw the poncho on the front and fell in love. Hello, Smeagol. Was that you at the cat door? That's what the clicking sound was. So, yes, we're doing speak. So you're going to come say hello to the people. Oh, there we go. So little Smeagol's just coming to say hello. Saying hello to the peoples. Right. Because it's dinner time. But the, the food's there. So I've got this book. I have 10 copies. If you're going to be at Yarning and, and want one, hit me up. <laughs> um, but yes, I am really, really excited for this. It's it's gorgeous. And to get 19 patterns for 16.99 is just incredible. Let's see. Just beautiful, beautiful designs. It's soft cover as well, which is, is great because I thought it was a hard cover. I didn't check those details and thought, how on earth am I going to get these down to Yarningham? So let's have a look at the pictures, shall we? That's the word weaver. And what I would say is before I go any sort of further, in fact, we'll just kind of go over this and look. Here's your poem. another image. It's just fabulous. All of the patterns in this book would look amazing in our own yarn. So our own Scottish provenance yarn brand that we are taking to Yarningham. Now they are all designed either for DK, for Ply or Aran. We actually have some Aran coming. It's probably not going to be here until Scottish Arm Festival, but we have got a batch in Baird and Tate just to see how it goes. I do know that there is a surgeon's coming for Aaron again and just the stitch definition that you get with Aaron yarn is just fabulous. So that was the first design. Then we've got, that was a cowl. Then we've got socks. We've got Euphoria. And there are directions in the book to turn the patterns that are for yoga socks into full socks which is a really really kind of cool thing to do the charts are in color which is great i'm just going to flip through right then that's that's another picture of the socks these are yoga socks Midsummer Magic. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Fingerless Mittens, Tree of Power. Look at them. This, I saw this capelet and just thought, Oh my goodness, that is a showstopper. I love a showstopper shawl. Look at this. Isn't that fabulous? That's Valkyrie. There's another. Shot with the feathers. This is the one that's on the front cover. It's a yoked cape, Dawn Dreamer. Just, oh my goodness, so, so lovely. We've got yoga socks, another pair of yoga socks, Women Rise. Then we have another pair of socks, Seer, and these have got some cable details as well as the colour work, which is lovely. I 
could easily hack that pattern and turn those into a pair of fingerless, oh, not fingerless, but mittens as well. We've got a yoke sweater. I don't know how you pronounce this. I think it might be hissy. All the designs, Ellen, are just absolutely gorgeous. But it, it was it was the big, I think there's a print with the bear, but the bear and the wolf and the feathers and just everything are just absolutely gorgeous. Have I got another, another picture of that? That yoke. I'm not sure that there is. Fingerless mittens messenger. It's a little bit of delicate colour work in the palms, just utterly gorgeous. A hooded shawl called Forever. Hat. King of the Elk. I love that shade of green as well. Colours that they picked out are, have been really, really well thought out when they've been doing the photography for this. We've got Leg Warmers, Nature's Magic. So that's cabling detail up the cuffs as well as colour work. So there's a real sort of variety of patterns in this book. Again, there, there's a chart. Look at how clear the chart is. I don't want to keep the focus on that too long because obviously it's a paper book. Socks, Will the Wisp. Will the Wisp, I know, is, you know he's a, a character from lore. All sorts of sort of Celtic and Nordic countries. See those? There we go. Oh no, I thought that thought someone had actually turned those socks into mittens, but it's a different it's a different pattern. It's just dawned on me what this is, and this is incredible. Right. I'll show you the backs for these mittens first, and then I'm gonna show you the insides as wow. Wow, I am not the best at colour work. Somebody please make me a sample of these in my own yarn. These are stunning. Thought and memory. So, Corvids of some description there. Odin's ravens. So there you go, look at the ravens. And this, the palm of the mittens. Look at that. And just wow wow and when you think that you know for a good well-written pattern these days what we're paying are happy to be seven eight pounds a time and you've got 19 patterns of this caliber for 16.99 it's just it's fabulous it really is fabulous okay we've got a little bag healer Hello, Smeagol. <laughs> don't know if you can see her. There she is. Down here. Um, she's not likely to jump up here, but my camera is balancing quite precariously. Another pair of socks called Grief. Your sweater, this this is one of the patterns that I saw that stopped me in my tracks. It's an oversized sweater for the Great Bear. I love that. There's the back, so you can see the yoke. And the back as well. Just... I love it. 
Um, another pair of socks, ankle socks, called Bee Sting. I'm sorry, should I be giving you attention, <laughs> sweetheart? I should. Look at the honeycomb pattern on the soles. Just so much thought has gone into these designs. The garden would be a nice shade for the pair, it would. <laughs> it would. I think that would make an excellent Rhinebeck sweater, actually. Um, yeah. That's us. So, I have 10 copies of this. I'm taking them to Yarningham. If you know that you're going to Yarningham and you want this, drop me a message. I will keep one aside for you um, and you can collect it there. So like a pre-order sort of thing. Yeah, I think this is this is a lovely book to add to your library. Um, so well thought out. Gorgeous designs. I love that there's poems or spells or meditations or whatever you want to call them in there to be more mindful about your making practice. Yeah, <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments. I will share this all over the place. And yeah, if any are left over or we get a lot of people looking for this that want to get it at the Scottish Arm Festival, then I can put in another order. Your library's overflowing. I know Ellen, but you, you want this. I know you want this. <laughs> I'm going to sign off for just now, folks. Thank you for your time and see you again. Bye bye.